Whenever changes to the building shall require a blower door test are part of the work scope. A building airflow standard must be calculated for the home according to the air exchange requirements provided by ASHRAE standard 62-89. Actual occupancy of the building must be used when calculating the building airflow standard. An example of the calculation is shown below. Minimum building airflow standard example calculation. Building data. Living space area equals 1,500 square feet. Basement area equals 700 square feet. Number of occupants equals four. Number of stories above grade equals two. Location, Albany, New York. Step one, calculate the ventilation required for the building. Airflow B equals 0.35 times volume divided by 60. Volume equals 8 times 1500 plus 700 equals 17,600 cubic square feet. Cubic feet. Airflow equals 0.35 times 16, 17,600 divided by 60 equals 102 CFMs. Step two, calculate the ventilation required for the people. Airflow equals 15 times the occupants. Airflow equals 15 times four equals 60 CFMs. Step three, using the higher airflow requirements, convert to CFM 50. Minimum CFM equals airflow times N, where N is the LBL conversion factor on the chart for the zone for Albany, New York, which is zone two, which is 17 to 20. The minimum CFM 50 equals 102 times 15 times 4, 15.4 equals 1570 CFMs at 50. Spillage and draft test. When a chimney is shared by multiple appliances, the appliances with the smallest BTU input rating shall be tested first and remaining appliances tested in order of increasing input rate. Induced draft heating systems shall be checked for spillage at the base of the chimney, liner, or flue. If a chimney is shared between induced drafting, drafting heating systems and a natural draft water heater, spillage shall be checked at the water heater draft diverter. Vent draft pressure shall be measured at a steady state operating conditions for all natural draft heating and hot water appliances. Draft test location should be approximately one to two inches, two feet downstream of the appliance draft diverter. The test hole must be sealed with an appropriate plug after the test. Accessible, acceptable draft test results are shown below. Outside temperature degrees in Fahrenheit, less than 10, minus 2.5, 10 degrees to 90 degrees, Delta T out divided by 40 minus 2.75. More than 90 degrees, negative 0.05. Types of heat flow. Conduction, objects must touch. Convection, air movement. And radiation, it happens between surfaces with different temperatures that see each other. Conduction. Conduction requires physical contact. The amount of heat transferred depends on the delta T, which is the temperature difference, and the characteristics of the material, which is the R value. Convection. Heat carried by a moving fluid, air or liquid. Air moving through a building, less dense hot air rising, more dense cold air falls. Temperature versus air movement. Delta T equals temperature difference. 
In the winter, the flow is from hot to cold. The higher the delta T, the more heat and air want to escape or enter the building. In the summer, the air flows from hot to cold to the inside. BTU equals measurement of heat energy needed to raise one pound of water one degree Fahrenheit, approximately the amount of energy produced by a typical kitchen match. Delta T equals the difference in the temperature. R value equals the resistance to the heat flow. The U factor equals the amount of heat flow through one square foot of material with a one degree Fahrenheit temperature difference across the material. U equals one divided by R. R values and U factors. R value can be added, it cannot be averaged. U factors can be averaged, cannot be added. To convert, it is one divided by R minus the value equals the U factor, or one divided by U minus the factor equals the R value. R minus 10 equals one divided by 10 equals 0 0.1. Heat loss formula. Conductive heat transfer occurs between two solid objects that are touching. The formula for calculating conductive heat loss is Q equals U times A times delta T. The Q is the heat flow, BTUs per hour. The U equals the inverse of R value, which is the U equals one divided by R, or R equals one divided by U. The A is the area in square foot, and the delta T is the temperature difference between the components of Fahrenheit. So the formula is the Q equals U times A times delta T. Conductive heat loss example. Wall area equals 100 square foot. R equals 15 equals U, which is one divided by 15, which equals 0 0.06666. The outside temperature is 10 degrees and the inside temperature is 70. So the delta T is 60 degrees. So the Q is the U times the A times the delta T. The Q in this case is 0 0.06666 times 100 times 60. The Q equals 399.96 BTUH. Permeability ratings. Vapor barrier must be less than 1.2 zero drywall is 30 to 50 house wrap is 5 to 50 semi-gloss latex enamel is 6.6 .6. primed and painted drywall is 2 to 3 interior plywood is 1.9 15 pound asphalt felt is 1 to 4 insulated foam sheathing is 0.4 to 1.2 Exterior plywood, OSB, is point, oh, 0 0.7. Vapor retardant paint is 0 0.6 to 0 0.9. Asphalt coated craft paper is 0.4. And polyethylene is 0 0.06. Air movement, airflow. Airflow is measured in cubic feet per minute also written as foot to the power of three divided by minutes or CFM. One CFM out equals one CFM in. Airflow takes the path of least resistance. Air always moves from high to low pressure areas. Air usually moves from high to low temperature areas.
Pascal, or PA, air movement. Pascal is the metric standard. One Pascal equals the weight of one post-it note. Inches per water column, the American standard. One inch of water column equals pressure required to suck one inch of water up a straw. 25 Pascals equals one inch of water column. Intentional depressurization, air movement. Blower doors intentionally depressurize a home to measure air leakage at an industry standard of negative 50 Pascals. When we do a blower door test, we turn off all the heating and cooling equipment, including the gas water heaters, so we do not cause backdrafting. Driving forces of air leakage. Driving forces of air leakage, temperature and pressure differences, usually between inside the house and outside. The bigger the temperature or pressure difference, the greater the air flow and heat flow. Air leakage pressure. Delta P equals pressure differences. Flow is from positive high to negative low pressure. For every CFM that exits, one CFM enters. Flow takes the path of least resistance. Stack effect. When negative pressure is applied to the bottom, then it has it goes through a neutral plane and then the positive pressure comes out through the top. Positive pressure with re reference to the outside and negative pressure in reference to the inside. Example for stack effect, a two-story house, 2,000 CFMs at 50. With a fan off, the total ventilation is at 164. 164 is neutral, nothing is added. The inside temperature is 68 degrees Fahrenheit. The outside temperature is 2 degrees Fahrenheit. The negative pressure at the bottom of the house is negative 4.2. So the top of the house is pressurized at 4.2. Utility bill analysis. Use this formula to find the base load calculation. Using a 13 month usage history, you wanna take the last 12 months of the consumption in this case, it's 8,167. You take the three lowest, in this case is 405, plus 368, plus 359 kilowatt hours. You add them together, which equals 377.3. You take 377.3 times it by 12, and that equals 4,528. So your annual base load calculation in this particular analysis is 4,528. The base load percentage of the total energy is taking the 4,528 4, and dividing it by 8,167, which is for the 12 months, and that equals 55% of the base load is the total energy consumption. Gas meter clocking calculation examples. Example one, one cubic dial, 36,000 by one divided by 30 seconds equals 120,000 BTUs. Example two is a half a cubic foot dial, 3,600 by 0.50 times 30 seconds equals 60,000 BTUs. Example three is one quarter of a cubic foot dial, which is 36,000 by 0.25 divided by 30 seconds equals 30,000 BTUs. Estimating wall insulation. Sample wall coverage chart. Sidewalls. R13, which is two by fours, the thickness is 3.5. The square feet per bag at 16 inches is 33.8. 24 inches is 
weight per square foot is 0 0.758. R20, which is two by six side walls, the thickness is 5.5. The 16 inches on the center is 21.5. 24 inches on the center is 20.8 and the weight per square foot is 1.192 how many bags to dense pack a 1200 foot square foot of wall with two by four studs 16 inches on the center the calculation is 1200 feet square feet divided by 33.8 square foot bags equals 35.5 bags or 36 bags. Typical insulation R values. Cellulose loose fill is 3.4 as a flat attic. Cellulose high density is 3.2 for walls, enclosed cavities, framing transitions. Fiberglass bats 3.5 for basement, ceiling, open stud walls, or flat attic. Fiberglass loose fill is 2.8 for flat attics, existing walls, and rock, wool, or loose or bat is 3.3 flat attic walls or subfloor. Typical insulation R values. Insulation type R value per inch and typical applications. Polyisocinurate rigid board is 7.0. Foundation walls, knee walls, attic access doors. Polysty polystyrene extruded rigid boards 5.0. Foundation walls, sub slab sill plate. Low density urethane spray foam 3.7. Attic walls, sill plates, banjoys, framing transitions, closed cell urethane spray foam, 6.5, attics, walls, sill plate, banjoys, framing transitions. Actual R values. The attic has 2,000 square feet with R30 insulation, but 10% low spots, R19, and 7% gaps, R2. What is the actual R value? Insulation 30, R value, U factor is 0.03, and area is 1660, the U times A is 55.3. The low spots, R value 19, the U value is 0.05, the area is about 200, and the U times A is 10.5. The gaps. R value 2, U factor is 0.5, area is 140, the U times A is 70, the total is 2000 in the area, the UA is 135.9, the R value of the total UA is 14.7. The area divided by the total, which is A divided by R value equals 2000 divided by 135.9 that equals the average r value of 14.7 floored attics dense pack under floors the target equals one pound per square foot of floor space for a two by four frame joist ultimate r value is limited by the size of the joist net free area or nfa one square foot of net free area nfa evented event needed for every 300 square foot of attic assumes ceiling vapor barrier 900 square foot attic with gable vents 900 square feet divided by 300 square feet equals 300 square feet of vent needed Two existing gable end vents each 18 inches by 12 inches. Two times 12 inches times 18 inches is 144 equals three square feet of ex existing vent. Is existing ventilation venting adequate? No, must use NFA. Carbon monoxide. 
CO is produced from the incomplete burning of any fossil fuel, which is often the result of poor maintenance and insufficient combustion air. BPI ambient CO action levels, one to nine PPM CO, normal, no action required, 10 to 35 ppm co marginal advise clients ventilate 36 to 99 ppm co stop all work and evacuate building excessive medical alert evacuate mitigate and ventilate 100 to 200 ppm co dangerous medical alert evacuate check occupants 911 Minimum CAS volume. Let's imagine that we have a 35,000 BTU unit in a CAS that measures 10,000 cubic foot. Does it meet the minimum volume needed? Now imagine the water heater is in a closet that measures 1,000 cubic feet. Does it meet the minimum volume needed? 10,000 cubic foot divided by 50 equals 200 1,000 BTUs per, how, uh, per hour. 1,000 cubic foot divided by 50 equals 20,000 BTUs per hour. Not good. Minimum CAS volume. 50 cubic foot BTUs per hour. Volume equals length times width times height which is 20 by 30 by nine. The volume is 55,400 cubic foot. The volume divided by 50 cubic foot equal, equals the maximum 1,000 BTUs per hour. 54,000 cubic foot divided by 50 equals the maximum cubic, 1,000 cubic, 1,000 BTUs per hour. 108 equals the maximum 1,000 BTUs per hour. Net free air passive vent. Combustion air requirements. A metal louver is 75% of total size. So 75 square inches with 10 by 10 equals 108 square inches. A 10 by 10 Wooden louver is 25% of total size, 25 square inches. So a 20 by 20 is 100 square inches. CAS depressurization limits. Worst case CAS depressurization test. Venting condition. Limits in Pascal. Orphan natural draft water heater, including outside chimneys, is negative two Pascals. Natural draft boiler or furnace commonly vented with water heater is negative three pascals. Natural draft boiler or furnace with vent damper commonly vented with water heater is negative five pascals. Individual natural draft boiler, furnace, or domestic hot water heater, negative five pascals. Mechanically assisted draft boiler or furnace commonly vented with water heater is negative five pascals. Mechanically assisted draft boiler or furnace alone or fan assisted domestic hot water alone is negative 15 pascals. Chimney top draft inducer, exhausto type or equivalent, high static pressure flame ret retention, heat, oil burner, direct vented appliance, sealed combustion appliances is negative 50 pascals. Blower door. Air changes per hour. Blower door diagnostics. Air changes per hour at 50 pascals. ACH 50. House volume equals length times width times height. Condition space only. Example, house dimensions are 40 foot long by 28 foot wide by eight foot high. Blower door reading is 45,000 CFMs at 50. The ACH 50 equals the CFM's 50 times 60 minutes per hour divided by the house volume, which is 4,500 times 60 divided by 40 by 28 by 8. 
4,500 times 60 divided by 8,960 equals 30 ACH 50. Duct leakage to outside. To test duct leakage to outdoors, set up the home in normal heating or cooling configuration, no fires burning. Set up the blower door to pressurize the house. Duct blower set up the same as for the total leakage, except but the manometer to pressure flow, not pressure flow at 25 pascals. Pressurize the house at 25 pascals. Pressurize the ducts until the pressure difference of the duct, the WRT, the house, is at zero pascals. Record the airflow at the duct blaster. Pressurize can refer to both pressurization or depressurization. Evaluating mechanical ventilation, exhaust fans, ASHRA 62.2. How much does it cost to operate an 8.5 watt fan 24 hours a day, year round? Electricity rate is 0.09 kilowatts per hour, nine cents. Number one, 8.5 watts times 24 hours times 365 days equals 74,460 watts per year. 74,460 watts per year divided by 1,000 watts equals 74.46 kilowatts per year. 74.46 kilowatts per year times 9 cents equals $6.70 per year. Evaluating mechanical ventilation. How much does it cost to operate a 9.5 watt fan 24 hours a day year round with electricity rate at 11 cents per kilowatt hour? Number one, 9.5 watts times 24 hours times 365 days equals 83,220 watts per hour per year. Number two, 83,220 watts per hour per year divided by 1,000 watts equals 83.22 thousand kilowatts per year. Number three, 83.22 kilowatts times 11 cents per kilowatt hour equals $9.16 per year. Formula reference guide. R value is one divided by the U factor. U factor is one divided by the R value. The volume is length times width times height. Heating degree days is 65 minus the high plus the low temperature for the day divided by two. Heat loss equals the Q equals U times A times delta T. Keeping the units straight, building measurements. One foot times one foot equals one square foot. 12 inches times 12 inches equals 144 square inches, which equals one square foot. 36 inches by 60 inches equals 2,160 inches. 2,160 times one square foot divided by 144 equals 15 square feet. Three times 12 inches divided by one foot equals 36 inches. Six times 12 inches divided by one foot equals 72 inches plus eight inches, which equals 80 inches. 36 inches times 80 inches equals 2,880 inches. 2,880 times one square foot divided by 144 equals 20 feet.